Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, family. Thank you for coming back again to the channel. Okay. We're going to be talking about... Shamir and her husband And why Portia is so jealous Of Shamir at this point Okay Shamir seems to have it all Just by the optics of it all We know she got a great strong friendship With Candy We know She got a wonderful loving husband Where she really don't have to work And he probably don't want her to work But it just is what it is Okay she's working she got a beautiful daughter. She has a brand new house. She has a gorgeous ring. So, why didn't you go, Portia, to her wedding? I'm sure she had a lot of weddings, but the main wedding was in Africa. She was marrying the love of her life. The man of her dreams. The man of many opportunities. She became a wife. She became a mother. And you flatline. Because, you know, you made a song called Flatline. But your whole essence of what you were trying to get and solidify, you flatline. So that means Diane didn't teach you well. And Diane's mother didn't teach her well either. Okay? Because you wouldn't be a glorified girlfriend. You would actually be married. And it's been a year and some months now. It's time he couldn't even get notoriety off his friend Davido. Or Davido. He couldn't even get notoriety off of that. And that's why he's pretty much hanging with you still. Because people still have an inkling of wanting to talk about you. Now you got this mess going where you're not even wearing your ring. And you're trying to definitely make a statement because you know the blogs are going to pick it up. You know we're going to pick it up, girl. But hell, I thought it was just hurting your hand or your hand turned green or something. Because it really wasn't a real stone. You have learned how to fake it till you make it to where it is just stupid. Okay? Everything you've gotten from this man. Okay, at least from Dennis. You got to have fun. He showered you with gifts. And you never wanted for anything. But Simon, he gives you used rings, used cars, used houses. And his children. I'm not going to say they're used, but they're already there. <laughs> and do we really know that this is Simon's mom? Do we really know that this is Simon's mom? She's a lovely Senior citizen, very nice looking, aging well, because we already know black don't crack, okay? And we have that to definitely put the staple on Miss Diane, because she has definitely been falling backwards with her time, with her age, I guess I'm trying to say. Meaning she's aging back, backwards, because Portia keeps funneling money through where she gets to look like she's 20 again, in a sense. Okay? But my question is, where's Larry? Where's Larry? Portia, until you come out on your social media platform and start taking pictures with Larry, and I can prove that they're updated, I'm going to be asking where Larry is. Because there's no need for you to be taking your mother everywhere with you. I mean, is she going through dementia? Is she having some health problems that you definitely, definitely need to watch out for? Well, we already told you. 
you ain't used to nothing new built from the ground up and only you lived in it and simon is not either because your friend Shamil, she's living in a house that was made for her specification her and her husband and it's brand new and ain't nobody lived in it but you couldn't come tell us that you had to match your baby for baby man for man now she don't uh, well friendship to friendship we know you fell out with candy but Shamil ain't fell out with her they still going strong at this point you couldn't stand for Shamil to be pregnant you couldn't stand for your sister to pre be pregnant so you had to hop on the next thing smoking and get it going with dennis mckinley and that's how you got baby pj to stay in the race with your so-called best friend from childhood shamil morton but to me it's still like she's shining and she has more than you she has a husband she's been with for a long time now she has a baby she has good friendships still got candy on her roster candy still making deals for her you know and talk makes me wonder did they do anything together those three before Shamil got married it's plausible it's plausible but from what i hear on those youtube streets uh Shamil is living in one of these kind of houses now that's Carter b house that she called herself buying here in atlanta i don't know if she still stays here or not that's steve harvey's home i believe but i got another picture just to confirm that that's his house but these are the houses that it's being speculated Shamia is living in. Now, Portia, you did, of course, tell us you and Simon were over there at Shamia's new home. But you said and alluded to that you were just there for her birthday. After 12 midnight, y'all still over there partying it up. Did y'all spend the night because the house is damn big enough to definitely let y'all occupy it for a couple of hours, okay? Almost like living in the Hamptons. Now, isn't it? But you wouldn't know nothing about that uh, portion. She may have probably know something about that before you would, baby. And that's what you can't stand, isn't it? Because you didn't even go to your childhood best friend's wedding that she invited you to and that she wanted you to come to. And if I'm not understanding or I'm not mistaken, she had you in her wedding allegedly but of course you said you could not fly those many hours because of some illness what was the illness portia jealousy envy hate am i warming up portia girl you are piss poor as a human being and piss poor as a friend girl get it together you still got time you could turn things around Portia. you might just have to drop simon okay i said mike because i'm gonna leave that up to you to do but it just seems like since you got this man only thing you've been getting is used goods while everybody else are running circles around you and getting new stuff and developing new friendships I mean, Shamir has the best both. Of, she has the w best of both worlds. She can spend time with you when she allow, when it allows, and she can spend time with Candy, and she can get money from either one. I mean, you probably wanted her on that Porsche family that matters, but thank God she decided against that. Or maybe you told her you didn't want a part of it, but it it worked out in her favor anyway, because that show crashed and burned. And for I, for as I'm concerned, it can stay burned. All right, up totally, not even resurrected or thought about again. But yes, you flatline in your career, in your life aspirations, and in your personal life, because. You're doing too much with your mom. And she's following you around being nosy. Because that's the only reason why you brought her to see Shamia's house. When it's supposed to have been just her birthday party. And just her friends and the husbands or the boyfriends were supposed to come along. Okay. But you brought mama along too. Alright. I'm surprised. 
she took up your invitation and went with you. I mean, it was in the wee hours of the night. I'm like, don't she need to be home watching her own mama? Girl. But you couldn't pass off the opportunity and your mother was nosy just like you. You had to take her. Y'all had to go see inside Shamil Morton's $10 million home estate, girl. Where she don't live in no subdivision where we know it. Girl, she's in a gated community. But the houses are spread Far and wide, I hear. Far and wide. Even if they wanted to get in a little argument here and there, you couldn't hear it. Because they don't have any neighbors close to them. Isn't that something, Portia? Isn't that something? But you took pictures in the kitchen and maybe in the foyer. But you love the grandiosis of things. Why didn't you go outside and take some pictures? So we as nosy people living vicariously through your lives. We wanted to see what it looked like. But it's rumored that it's 10 million or more. So I just pulled up some pictures. You know because I'm nosy like that. And I like comparing and contrasting. Lord I do. I had to understand where was Shamil coming for? Because, I mean, you had a nice house. It was used. It wasn't built from the ground up for you, from your specifications or anything like that. Okay, then you moved your mom in to your house because you damn sure didn't gift it to her. Because we already know the signs are on the wall. The signs are written down. You and Simon are not going to make it because y'all are two con artists. Y'all are two characters that want to paint a picture of something lovely when it's just disastrous. Okay? It's just disastrous. Now, where is Larry? Okay? The people want to know over here at the fam. We're concerned. Did he get sick? Did he die? Did he move to another country? We have questions we need answers because you love flaunting people in front of us. And I'm like, okay, Diane didn't do so bad. She didn't do so bad now. But yet, she's flirting around your man all the time. She's hanging out and shopping with your man all the time. What's going on? So we have to speculate. Larry's not in the picture anymore, but you can definitely come to the form, forefront and let us know. Take some pictures. Let us know he's still living in your house that your mother and your grandmother and your granddaddy occupy for just a short limited time. Okay, just a short limited amount of time. But I just had to come on here because the streets were talking. And I said, well, if the streets talking, maybe I need to talk about it, too. And maybe we can get Simon or Portia to post something to our imaginations of what we wanted to know. Okay? Will Portia post Shamia's house the next time she's over there? And not just giving us a room portrait? Or whatever room she's allowed to take pictures. Maybe she may have told her, don't take no pictures of my house. I'll do that later on if I want to do that at all. So they were pretty much just left to taking pictures in the kitchen. And the kitchen seems pretty big. Like a chef kitchen. More than what you can allude to having Porsche. And I know you probably feel embarrassed because Simon didn't set his eyes on something like that for you all. Now, that's a million dollar mansion. I mean, Candy got half of that. You know what I'm saying? But she got it on her own. She didn't need a man to do it for her. So, we gonna say, hey, go get it, get it, girl. Candy bags, okay? We gonna start calling Candy, Candy bags, alright? Because she got the bag. <laughs> She's going to keep a job, and she's going to stay busy. And that's what Todd likes about her. He may not like that everybody don't give him any uh, high fives and good, or, you know, good opinions about what he's doing out there, this, that, and the third. But he ain't going to get canned up. Mm -mm. And the sad part about it, he probably really love her. Of what he know love he is, you know, because Mama Sharon didn't probably give him all the love that he needed and wanted and desired. Because we know his dad wasn't in the picture. Because jo Mama Joyce said, uh, Todd's mom and Todd's dad was a hoe and a pimp. Did the streets rebuke it? Was there a rebuttal? No. Because uh, Sharon kind of died shortly after. And that was being said on her. 
uh, through no fault of her own. It's just some health issues. And she was here one day, gone the next. That's how all our lives are. Uh, we all have expiration time. But yeah, Portia, she wanted the man. She couldn't have a black man. So she thought she'd go get her African, okay? However, she got a shady scammer of one, okay? He want to give you the opposite. He has something. When he really don't. He's kind of struggling like the rest of us. Everyday people. Hard working people. And there's nothing wrong with that. Living from paycheck to paycheck. That's just how it is sometimes. In some, some households. You know. But uh, yeah. He comes from money. His family comes from money. And he is money over here in this country. Okay. And he's loving on his wife. He's loving on his daughter. And they're building legacies okay they're building generational wealth now portia you already are behind on the stick if you want to live this uh royalty type of lifestyle you know that definitely candy has partaken in all right she's being a mover and a shaker and um she's trying to produce more now she's trying to get into production and uh making decisions I can see her in the boardroom one day. Yes, I can see candy bags in the boardroom one day. I thought it would be with Bravo, but maybe her eyes are set on something a little bit higher. Okay, I'm just saying. And, um, yeah, Portia burned that bridge with candy as well. We're going to see how long this childhood friendship will last also because of course Shamia is a radio personality now so she's getting her seven, six or seven figure income she actually said that her and her husband actually purchased this mansion that they're living in because the old house that they were living in it was just in her husband's name but see now they have something that they can share that they can divide equally amicably if anything happens to their relationship and she'll be good okay because Shamir is a go-getter and she looks for opportunity and she's very intelligent um i really like how she do interviews things of that nature but who she was interviewing uh the uh, husbands of the housewives um uh, no that's not gonna last long because nobody really care about what the husbands think of their women uh, it should have been a show more so of the uh, husbands and their wives. It should have been something majorly um, created for them in that tone. But not the housewife husbands. No, 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 no. No. But like I said, you know, Shamia's putting a lot on her resume. She showed and proved she's a, a viable person to host lucrative events, lucrative job opportunities. While Portia is still balling backwards, okay? We're going to start calling her balling backwards Portia. That fits her. That really does fit her. Because she don't listen. You know, she don't listen to nobody. She don't listen to me. Well, she do listen. But it just the people that she's listening to are just steering her wrong, okay? Her mother probably taught her this way of handling herself, looking a certain way. And she could be afforded to the best things in life with the man's selection. Okay, instead of thinking about that feminist movement and getting yours, okay, while you can. And then if you decide, if you want to, entertain the idea of definitely uh, finding you a suitor that match your style, your uh, lifestyle, your family ethics, your morals, your values, things of that nature. But as we can see, Portia Mom just really tried to get in a influential type advocacy type of family and she solidified herself but she didn't end up well no because what she was married into was uh, a man who had a uh, rich we call it a rich heritage in advocacy and powering and moving the minority group of people forward okay his dad was jose williams and he was a pioneer along with the civil rights leader martin luther king do your research okay look up those two names and i'm sure there'll be a plethora of information that you can definitely uh immerse yourself in Okay, and find more knowledge of where Portia Williams derives from, but she didn't pick up any of those good and admirable 
honorable habits okay she just went to her mother's side of the family and we could see it all playing out in front of us of what they taught her okay but like i said she has a used house used man used car um might have a used wardrobe if we think about it because we know her ring isn't um 100 hers um i think it was a used ring so um yeah Portia's life has really been like used up i guess you could say but there's nothing here nor there we need Portia to come out show us and prove to us that larry is still there in her mother's relationship is still intact or she can come and show and prove that uh, she's jealous in some form of fashion because her friend, her childhood friend, is running circles around her. She has the man, she has the family, she has the money, and she has a home now. And uh, Portia is in a negative with all of that. So for Portia to stay relevant, you know, she has to stay with Shamil or some form of being in her environment because she lacks thereof. She doesn't have a good relationship with Candy. Needy and her, well, they're in the same basket at this time. Uh, and she doesn't have the opportunity of, or, or is afforded the opportunity that being on a reality show, you know, supplies her with more avenue revenue streams and more hobnobbing with the rich and famous. Okay, that's pretty much why Simon got with her. He wanted the fame. He wanted the uh, fortune and uh the environments of lucrative businessmen he could be around if Portia were to have act right but as we can see you know the show that she could have made millions off of kind of like Kim Zosiac remember we had Tardy for the party and Kim had her little spinoff show that lasted what eight to ten years okay and it was just nothing uh, nothing really exciting. It's just, you know, we following her family, comings and goings. And sometimes you had a little kiki here, a little ha-ha there. And um, it was other than that, it was quite boring. You know what I'm saying? But she had it. Just like Andy Cohen has his Watch What Happens Live. And we know that's in the toilet. But, you know, hey, it just is what it is. But that's all I have for this video, guys. I really want to know, and I'm very nosy, about why Portia didn't tell us why she was uh, alluding to she was at Shamia's birthday party with Simon and her mother. But she did not say that she was in a brand new mansion. So a mansion that Shamia must be living in and dwelling in must be just substantial. Because Portia won't let that information out. Now, if her house was about the same size and square footage as Simon's house that he has without Portia's name on it, if it was in that ball ball frame or park, uh, she probably would have took pictures. You see what I'm saying? But no, that's on lockdown until Shamia and her husband wants to let the public know. And since Shamia's husband is not a public out there type of guy you know what i'm saying you got to know him he got to know you and then you will be afforded into his playground meaning his home his home dwellings because he's the king he's at his castle and um he has his queen but of course you know portia was like you know hey best friend you know thank you for inviting me to your party you know this that and the third but she failed miserably in letting us know she had a new home and her Simon and her mama was over there being nosy. That's all they were doing. Being nosy and wanted to see how really the rich and famous get down. Okay? Get down. So see, Shamia did her research. Shamia vetted her husband. But you didn't, Portia. You were just sight on scene on sight, sight on scene, and wanted to take over somebody else's husband before they were really finished with him. So, as the old wise tale always says, however you get them, it's however you will lose them. 
But like I said, we don't wish anything bad on Portia. We just want Portia to make better decisions with her life, okay? Since she has a little one that's going to be following in her footsteps, Lord, we hope not. Hopefully the curse, the generation curse will be canceled with PJ and she would think more like her dad's side of the family and get her own before she decides to let somebody else pamper her, okay, with the luxuries of this world but that's all i have for this video guys hope y'all like it love you gotta have more and i will see you all next video bye bye